Hello and welcome to another lecture in Lineflow and Langchain course by Tecnitis Online. So far, we had uh, uh, we had covered a lot of things like introduction, Langflow and uh, ODI development tool. Then we had covered understanding the Langchain framework, uh, like what is the relation between Langflow and Langchain framework. Then we had covered how to get uh, Langflow pro uh, provided by Tecnitis Topnet on the level discipline selection. Uh, uh, we are we will we had cover uh, the overview of him and other uh, then uh, after this we are to cover how to get Langflow provider technology coordinate on GCP then Azure now in this lecture we'll talking about explore the Langflow user interface basically and talking about initiative your dashboard extensive component library and visual workflow builder so in this tutorial, we will delve into the various features and functionalities of Langflow, a powerful tool for natural language processing. By the end of this video, you will have a comprehensive understanding how to navigate and utilize a Langflow interface effectively. So, okay, let's get started. For uh, for this lecture, I am using the uh, uh, AWS uh, VM. So, it depends on you, like uh, whatever you use uh, for your needs, you can use any one like I because in our uh, previous lectures, we have already covered all the cloud platforms, including AWS, GCP, and Azure. So, like how to get the latest uh, .NET uh, Langflow VM on AWS, GCP, and Azure. So, you can choose according to your preference. Okay, so this is the user interface. You can simply uh, copy the IP address from the VM details page, then uh, go on any browser and type HTTPS and uh, paste the IP address of the VM and run this. So you can see that uh, for our uh, uh, dash blank flow uh, user interface is running now on browser. Okay, so basically this is look like this, and uh, here it will take one or two minutes. I have already uh, started this. Okay, so give add me as a username, add me as a user, username, and I have to set a password in uh, re, uh, in when you set up the VM. So give password. You can also uh, if you don't have an account, you can also sign up. Okay, so the password and uh, sign in. So here yeah, you can see that it is also running. We yeah, have closed this one. Okay, uh, in, in dark mode. Yes. After this, what we have to do? You can explore all. Uh, you can explore all the things here. If you click on GitHub uh, star, so you can find about the official repository of Langflow. Then if you click on Twitter, uh, then you can click on Discord. So here you can see that the Twitter page of the Langflow. And if you click on Discord, so here you can find about the community of the Langflow. So you can explore these things also. Apart from this, this is the uh, like uh, light mode. If you want to choose uh, uh, dim light, so you can choose dim light. And if you want to choose uh, black light, so you choose black light. Apart from this, here you can find about my collection, manage your personal projects, download or upload your projects. You can find about the my collections also. Then flow components, these all things. And uh, flows and components can be created in long blank flow. So if you click on uh, like put a start here, so you can go for starting. Now to begin, let's look at a Langflow interface. As you can see, it is divided into several sections. Okay, so if you click on the start, uh, start uh, button. So uh, like uh, several sections on the left hand, we have the navigation menu, which allow us to access different features and tools. Uh, we'll talk more about this stuff. And uh, the main workspace is where we can input our dark text and Text start and configure our models. The output section displays the result of our analysis. Now let's explore how to configure our models in the main works, uh, workspace. We can select from a variety of our pre-trained models or upload our own custom models also. We can also adjust uh, various parameters such as model type, language and processing mode to shoot our specific needs. Let, next, so let's discuss so how, so if you are talking about models, so you can see that there are a lot of models are available here like uh, Amazon Badrock, Anthropic, uh, if you click on and then uh, 
uh, Azure Chat OpenAI. So if you click on Azure Chat OpenAI, so here you can see that, uh, and this is how like it uh, like works. Uh, if you uh, scroll this one, so it, like it is fully flexible, and it, this in this will like it is working. So you can also uh, do scrolling and other things here also. So if you want to uh, do this stuff, you can give the API key, code, and then deployment name, Azure endpoint, model name, and then you can see the temperature. Okay, so here you can see other options also, like chat open here. This is one of the uh, famous options by open AI. You can also explore with uh, chat open AI, see transformers, Google generation AI, hugging face interface AI, hugging face club, and you know, Llama open AI. AI and then uh, vertex ai also here okay so these are the different uh, models and uh, after this uh, text input and process we have discussed how to input process our text and data we can paste our text into the input field or upload a file Langflow supports a range of file formats including json cc csv and text text files once so our text is uploaded, we can select the processing mode which determines how Langflow will analyze our data. So if you go on, this is the LLMs part and if you click on text speeder, so here you can find about the uh, character text uh, or speeder language, recursive text speeder, recursive text speeder. Okay, if you click on tools, so here you can see that there are a lot of tools like Bing search run, Bing search run and then simply you can and then you can see the calculator also okay so yes, you can see the calculator also if you uh, see the google search result also then uh, if you want to uh, you can also explore other things like python functions python function tools request get info then uh, uh, like uh, uh, Langflow also offers several advanced features that can even <coughs> our analysis. For example, we can use the entity recognition tool to identify specific entities in our text, such as names, location, and organization. We can also use the sentiment analysis tools to determine the emotional tone of the text. So, yep. And uh, if you check the custom, so you can find about the custom components. If you check the agents, then here you can find about the CSB agents, uh, like uh, uh, talking about CSB agents, uh, agent by the JSON, JSON agent. JSON agent, then you can see that the OpenAI conversational agent. Here you can see the uh, memory, OpenAI base, maximum uh, API, maximum token limit. Then here you can see the SQL agent, then vector agent and the vector st stores motor agent zero shout agent then you click on chain so you can find out the combined docs chain llm chain llm math chain prompt runner if you click on prompt runner you can see the prompt runner you can give the code inputs and value and you can run this then you can see find out the sql database chain the travel play resource chain then if you click on loader then you can find about the air byte json loader and AZ Relic Clear Explorer, BS, BS, uh, BS HTML Loader, College Confidential Loader, and then CSV Loader, Directly Loader, Every Motor Loader, Facebook uh, Chatter Loader, File Loader, Gitbook Loader. This is one of the most important Gitbook Loader. Okay, because we have used Gitbook for our talks, also many companies use Gitbook for docs. Then HTML Loader. Then Notion directly loader. This is also one of the most important. You can find out the Notion. There are a lot of tools are available in the uh, uh, land flow. Okay, user interface. If you click on Pi PDF loader, then you can see the Pi PDF loader. Also, select directory loader. This is also the one of the most important. Then uh, read the docs loader. Then if you uh, check the SRTL loader, text loader, URL loader. Then if you click on embeddings, uh, uh, Amazon Badrock bad embeddings, Torrents embeddings, Hugging Face embeddings, if you check this one, Hugging Face one. So you can see the Hugging Face embeddings, OpenAI embeddings, then Vertex AI embeddings. 
then if you click on LLMs, then you can find out all the options of LLMs. We are already talking about the LLMs. Then if you click on memories, then you can find about all the memories here also. Then if you click the output parser prompts, prompt is also one of the most important. So chat messages prompt template, you can find the chat messages prompt template, chat prompt template, human message prompt template then prompt template system message prompt template so these are all the prompts available in the then you can see the retrievers amazon kendra retriever metal retriever then text splitters toolkits and open ai toolkit vector storing group metaphor json toolkit then uh, after tool tools you can see uh, in tool section you can find the calculator and other stuff if you click on utilities so you can see the get request post request request types of begin search api wrapper whole search api wrapper update request then if you click on web stores then you can find about the chroma files mongodb atlas and uh, quadrant quadrant is one of the most important vector uh, database okay then if you click on mongodb atlas so you can also see the mongodb atlas also then after this uh, uh, wrappers, uh, wrappers, then SQL database and tax address record. So this is the future of all the things in uh, basically lab flow, and you can see the components and uh, other things. Okay, so uh, like uh, this is the components, and you can see anything if you want to upload or import anything. So you can click on this option. If you want to export anything, so you can click the uh, click on this option. If you want to like uh, click on this, this is for both option. You can also search from here. Then you can see the my collection from here. Okay. If you click on edit flow store, if you want to store anything like uh, there, if you have any store or like stuff, so you can also uh, explore this. Thing. So here you can see the land flow store is in beta form. Okay. So vector store prompt chain memory agent anything. So here you can also see the lot of options are available. Okay, and if you click on uh, next option, so you can find more things like the uh, OpenAI runner, YouTube transcriber, drag this LLM, SQL database, SQL database chain, news comparison, extra. You can do anything with LLMs. Okay. And after this, if you click on this, so this is for notification stuff. This is for API key, I think. Yes, you can create a secret API. Okay, your secret API key are distributed. If you click on this, so you can create a secret API. Okay, and after this, if you go on admin page, so here you can see that the admin page, and uh, you can create a new user with here. For example, I am creating a new user with the some name like uh, demo two three four five okay demo two three four five and if you give any password give any password give any password uh, i will give any password You can also give active user okay and after this what we have to do give this password and uh, uh, dot fit at the rate one two three four and demo two three four five is our username you can copy this username which is uh, like if you i have a habit of forgetting so i am uh, copy this username also write the password okay so you can give active or super user this depends on you like i am in admin dashboard if you click on active so this is like just like a normal user and if you save this okay so here you can see that uh, uh, we have uh, this user okay and uh, what we have to do next uh, log out uh, in our panel sign out in our panel and uh, you uh, log in with the uh, that user, okay? Damn. The password.
So you can see that you can do all that stuff as a user, but you don't find about the uh, like the admin page because uh, I'm not giving you other, giving you the super user uh, super user. Uh, uh, I'm not giving the role of super user to any user. I'm simple make one user and active that user. Okay, so in the uh, like in this way you can create a new user and gives a super user or uh, all the permission in Langflow. If you click on start here, so you can do all the stuff as a user, but uh, you are not uh, you have not the power of super user. So you can sign out from here, and uh, again I'm logging as an admin. Password is same. Uh, I am giving my password. So I am again as in login as an admin, and after login and logging as an admin, it will be so I'm uh, go on admin page, and you can also uh, this is our user we have made in this lecture, so you can also give super user power, and you can also delete this level, okay? So you can also delete this user. So like this is how it is working. And this is all about the Langflow user interface. And I think uh, you guys like this uh, uh, lecture. So basically I have uh, some more stuff. So like in conclusion, Langflow is a powerful tool for natural language processing that offers a range of features and functionalities. By following this tutorial, you should have a comprehensive understanding of how to navigate, utilize the Langflow user interface effectively. Whether you are a researcher, help you unlock uh, uh, like to help you unlock the inside and value hidden in your text setup. Uh, so that's all about this lecture and don't forget to like subscribe and you uh, like subscribe our youtube channel and show some love uh, love and support like uh, more videos is coming soon uh, on our youtube so that's all about this video